my um, art area. I am in the formal dining room of our house and this actually used to all be kid toys. We had this as the playroom. Right now just my daughter's toys are in here. My sons are back behind me. Um, so I was able to move up here. I was in the basement and it's unfinished and it's cold and um, <laughs> so I'm very blessed to be able to have moved up here into the you know under the main floor of the house so my um just real quick my area is actually made from two cabinet units that my husband got at the home um you know a home improvement store and then a cut piece of kitchen counter uh is is the top so they're not connected you can connect them but but these are not connected. The countertop is not connected to the units, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I think totally it was about $300 for all of these three pieces. Um, but, um, you know, the I don't have any handles on my drawers or the cabinet doors yet, but it's working absolutely fantastic for me and, and for what I had. My one requirement when my husband was wanting to put something together for me was that whatever um, the cabinet types were like they needed to be able to hold my plastic drawer units because that's the easiest way for me to store my things and I'm so used to having everything in the drawer units that I really wanted to make sure that whatever we got my drawer units would fit inside so they do fit in he did have to saw out part of the shelf that's inside so that the units would slide back in there because the shelves were in the way um, which you know isn't a big deal since this is the only thing these will ever be used for is for my art area so it wasn't like we were sawing into our kitchen cabinets you know in in a permanent place but it is working fantastic for me and I love it and I you know I think it was pretty inexpensive for for what we did and how it looks so, um, just real quick, I'm going to start us out on this side, and I just have a bookshelf over here, and, um, let's see, on the bottom, the bottom is just all scrapbook paper, and I do have some books over here in the corner, my rose books, and some calendars that I use for collage pages, and then this is just all journals on this shelf, and then up here are books 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 I have my Bella Grace and my flow and then just all art books the tubs on the side are stamps and let's see I brought up I have tons of stamps I did break up all of my stamping up sets I had oh my gosh hundreds of stamping up sets I finally broke all of my sets up and I organized everything by uh, category so I brought up Halloween and nature and um, then I have floral over here and uh, let's see it says phrases and quotes I just tried to bring up ones that I thought I would be using this season so as soon as um, Thanksgiving's over or when it you know it starts getting close to where I might be working on anything Christmas related and winter related I'll bring up the tubs that have those stamps in them and I'll take them downstairs and put them up here so I don't want to bring all of those up I probably have about 30 tubs downstairs on a big shelf unit with all of my stamps so I just don't have space for that up here and you know maybe one day if I get to take over this whole room and I'm able to have a big shelving unit up here then I'll bring them up but for now I'm just gonna bring up what I need and let's see this file folder has my collage sheets in it from Tangi Baxter's Art Journal Emporium and I have all of my right brain planner pages there and my art journaler pages there and then yay I was finally able to bring up my big shot my big shot has been downstairs in the basement collecting dust for a long time so I'm hoping that now that I have it up here I will be able to start using it and think to use it and remember to use it so over here oh wait and down here is my paper sticker binder 
that I didn't have any other room for it. And I've got that silly, goofy 1970s recipe card um, case down there, which I want to start altering those cards. They're probably like a 5 by 7 recipe card, and I thought it would be fun to alter them, kind of like uh, doing my iCads. So, on this side, I have several of the drawer units up top here. Both of these little wooden shelves are spice um, spice racks that I picked up, you know, at the Goodwill. That one at the top I grabbed at an antique fair this summer for a dollar. And it just has my golden fluid acrylics in it. I've got a couple of the high flow and I have some Windsor and Newton ink. And then all of my FWs are in this other little spice rack. And just some golden products and more ink down at the bottom. And I always try to keep some Lysol cloths around because I'm messy. This is all of my Copics. I really don't know what to do with them. I used to have them in a drawer and I took them out and they're all right here. I don't use them a lot so right now they are just sitting here in this tub. Um, let's see, on top of this side is just more um, I have my adhesives and there's some modeling paste in there and texture gel and uh, my my um, barrier cream and just things like that, matte medium, um, Spectrafix, so just kind of things that, you know, kind of adhesive type uh, things like that. And then on this side, this is mostly collage elements. So this is all of my, I'm gonna move, try to move this curtain real quick. All right, so this is, um, yep, all the pages that I've ripped out of magazines and just, uh, you know, junk mail and flyers and things like that. I have them organized in categories. The top one, I haven't labeled it yet, but this is just like stuff that I know and that I love and that I totally know that I want to put on a journal page. I kind of put some of my favorites in this drawer. This one is people, people and faces, and then I have flowers. I have uh, bling and objects, so you know, rings and watches and just odds and ends like that. Animals and insects outdoors, backgrounds, so, you know, just anything that I think would work good as a background on an ATC or a postcard or a collage. And this is actually a rolled up pair of jeans, so many rolled up pairs of jeans, but that'd be really cool to use on an ATC. So those are backgrounds, and then I have vintage, vintage images, and then down here, this is specialty paper, so I have like a vellum and some transparencies and mulberry paper, things like that. These bottom three are stamps. So these are just, I have a bunch of those little alphabet stamps and texture stamps. And gosh, it's a mess. Look at that, it's a mess. Just, you know, more actually they're mostly texture type stamps and alphabet. And down here, are my ancient stamp pads. I have had these since the beginning of my crafting time. <laughs> these are stamping up ancient page um, stamps. Some of them are stamping up ones. Yep. I, you know, I can't believe that they still work. I actually used these yesterday to make birthday card and they still work. And I tell you, they're at least 15 years old. Um, just a uh, quilting ruler because I like to use those and a cutting mat got water paper and just a big mixed media paper journal I brought up my typewriter I need to order some ribbon for it I had found that at an antique fair a couple years ago for $56 and it's in really good shape so I just need to order my my uh, ribbon for it and then let's see and this unit, this is all, there's two, three drawer units here, and these are paints, except for this top one. The top one, I have my um, Letra Set Aqua Markers, 
And then in the back, it's all paint pins. And all that I did here was wrap a piece of um, cardboard and some duct tape and duct taped it on here just to make a divider so that I had a divider for uh, for both of these kinds of pins. So this is all paint pins back here. The rest of this is acrylic paint and I have them um, just divided by color. Got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink and purple, brown, black, white, and metallic. So I just, you know, whatever I've got that in that color because I think in color. I, whenever I'm looking for something and wanting something, I think green. Um, so, you know, or I think blue. And then I just grab this and start looking. Um, then down here are all of my embellishments. These are mostly scrapbooking embellishments and stickers and uh, Project Life, just uh, odds and ends. Um, so, these are all embellishments. This top one is things that, you know, there's just too many colors in it for me to, to try to break that by color. And I try not to, you know, do that a lot and put a lot in here, but I might eventually try to break some of these up by color. But for now, it's just kind of the rainbow drawer. And then, so I've got, you know, divided up by color here. I have a little plastic um, food container. One has a dimensional embellish, small embellishments in it, and one has flat small embellishments. Everything else goes on this side. So there's, you know, there's just a mixture of everything in here. It's that if it's red, it's in this drawer. So then I just did that with all the colors, and it just really helps me out a lot because I, you know, I, especially if I'm just working on something small and I think I want a certain color, then I can just grab this drawer and just kind of, and for me part of the fun is just kind of sorting through things and searching and it just, I just, that's kind of, I, I enjoy just kind of looking through things and touching things and finding what I want. So, um, I've got, you know, the flats and the three-dimensional. And that's it for all of those. Let's see. Over here, I've got two little three drawer units, and they all have clipped words in them. I used to just have this one, and I went ahead and grabbed this other one so that I can try to sort these out a little bit more. Right now, I've just got single words, phrases, and then like big pieces. And I would like to sort these out a little bit more, and that's going to be a really big project. But um, I know that it will help a lot whenever I'm trying to look for something, because it's hard and it takes a while to sit here and search through what might work. So I haven't figured out what categories I want to use yet, but I'm. This is a big project that I'm mulling around in my head right now and trying to you know, figure out what I want to do. But for now, this is just all words and phrases. And then in this little bowl, I just have pieces that I've cut off from other projects that I know I could probably work on to something else. Because, you know, I told you before, I can't, I can't throw anything away. <laughs> so if I think I might be able to use it, I save it. And this is my just little savey bowl. So over here, just have, you know, a ruler and my cutting mat and some note paper and my stamp pad cleaner and I've got my um, heat gun this these little um, metal trays right here I found these at Walmart a few years ago during the holiday season and they are actually with the um, canning supplies and they're just like a let me pull one out so you can see it's a, it's a little gift basket to put your canned uh, you know, your jellies or your jams or whatever your give, gift giving. It's a de decorative basket to use for that. And I thought they would be really cute just to hold my containers um, on my table just to make it look kind of pretty. So, obviously, I've got, you know, my scissors and just things that I use the most. And my little cards to scrape paint with and water. 
my water bottle and tweezers and my water brushes and stabilos. I've got just charcoal pencils and pens and all those are in this one. And on this side I've got um, just, you know, just tools, my brayer and just, oh goodness, I've got everything you can think of. Pliers and, you know, just, it's in there. <laughs> and here's more, just big paint brushes. These are watercolor only. And then, um, I need to get a bigger jar for that because it doesn't want to stand up. And then these are just all my, you know, just regular paint brushes. And then I've got my little, um, this actually had flowers in it, and it's my little trash bin. I put my, reci my recycle paper in here. Um, let's see. Over here, and my mat is actually an oven liner mat. I picked this up uh, from the grocery store for about six dollars. So, and it works exactly like the name brand craft mats. So, and this is a another mat that this is Gracie's side, and this is my side. So she has her own little mat. So whenever she paints, she's got a place to work. Um, let's see. Just have cards. These are all just little cards that I've made, the game cards, and I was trying to do those. This has just got little uh, memorabilia type stuff in it. Some journal, more journals, my anti-journal. These are some of my Midori books I'm trying to figure out what to do with. This is um, this year's iCAD cards, and they are in this pretty little glass dish. And I found this at the antique fair this summer for a dollar also. I think it was a dollar. It was a dollar or five dollars. But I saw that and thought that would work perfect to hold my cards. And got some stamps in here. This is like stuff that I would put on envelopes, and I actually made this in eighth grade. <laughs> And I have, this, you know, of all the things that I've been able to keep, I've been able to keep this one breakable thing. And with being in the military and moving hundreds of times, you know, I, I still have my, my neat little, my pottery. <laughs> so that's that. And then I've got a couple of cassette uh, tape holders that I have my Stampin' Up! pads in. These are so old. You know, I need to go through them because I don't even know which ones even still work. They've got, I know some of them are dried out, so I'm kind of trying to decide what to do with these, but Stampin' Up! pads and just some of my stuff. I love hedgehogs, so I collect the little hedgehogs. And then I've got my little diffuser. Go ahead and turn that on. So we're on this side now. And this top drawer is actually Gracie's drawer. So this is all of her art supplies, and I just got this all nice and organized for her the other day. These trays were actually the trays that you get to go in the IKEA carts. I bought them with my carts and decided not to use them, but they work excellent as drawer organizers. So I've got all of her stuff here. And then down on this side, I have... Um, plastic tubs, most of these are just, uh, it's mostly paper stuff. One has napkins in it, one has tissue paper in it, I've got one that has um, antique um, book pages and music pages, and uh, there's a big tub back there that has bigger rubber stamps, alphabet stamps, like the big foam stamps that are, you know, like that big. I've got books to pull pages from. On top of this drawer unit, I have tape, just different tapes, because I really didn't have any other place to put them. And then this drawer unit has um, a scrap of paper, or pattern paper, and once again, divided by color. And so this is just all scrap of paper. And when I have a sheet of paper that is hard to tell where to put, um, well, it's easy sometimes if since this one has three colors in it. So like this one here obviously went in the red, orange, yellow drawer. But if I have a piece like this and I'm not sure where to put it, I usually go by the, 
the color that stands out the most to me or the background color and in this case um, the background's yellow and obviously there's a lot of yellow flowers in here so if I only had a yellow drawer I would put this in the yellow drawer and these are actually double sided and some of them had more than one sheet so with some of these I flipped it over and I put the other side organized that one by color so I would have put this one in, in the pink drawer but that's just kind of how I figured out what to put where. Whatever was the most predominant color, that's the drawer that it went in. Or the color that, that stood out to me the most if I just kind of glanced at that piece of paper. So these are all just pattern, pattern pieces of paper. And this was the biggest thing that I did because this used to have all the ephemera in it that I wasn't using. And I just really felt like that was wasting a lot of my space. So I took all the ephemera out and um, move my paper into here and then moved all of my embellishments in on the other side which I already showed you and that has really made a big positive difference in here for me and I'm gonna wiggle over here I used to have two drawer units under here and since I got my cart I took one of the units out and it's actually over to the side and it has all of um, Elliot's action figures um, and uh, some of his toys organized in that and he really gets a kick out of going in there and opening up his drawer and taking out his toys. Um, so I've got on the top of this cart there's a basket back there that has um, towels in it just you know cotton towels just to use to wipe with wipe things off with and I've got um, an old phone book back there that I use when I'm binding the books and tissue box of course because we're always sneezing here and uh, my paper cutter and then I've got just some there's some kits that I need to go through and some canvases on the side and here in this unit I have deli paper that I use to put in between um, pages when I'm working on them or underneath things so a lot of these have paint on them and I'll um, take these out and use these actually on projects so I need to go through because a lot of these are full of stuff. So, And then I've got uh, duct tape because I really didn't have any other place to put them. So they're just kind of sitting there. This is um, my chipboard tools and my hammer. And then I've got my uh, eyelet hole maker. These are Melody Ross for chip art um, alphabets and then just the decorative shapes that she has. This is one of those things that I had down in my basement that's been forgotten about and I brought it up in hopes that I can start using some of those um, some of that again. And in this drawer I have stencils and just the make makeup sponges to put paint on. I don't have a whole lot of stencils so they fit pretty nicely nicely in here and I, I'm liking it. I used to have it sitting on top of the cart over here and they kept on falling out and just making a big mess and it wasn't working so this I'm glad that these fit in here this bottom drawer oh are all my my dies for my big shot and I really don't have a lot I don't buy any anymore unless they're on clearance like this one was on clearance for $7.79 um, so I need to use what I have so I I need to use these before I think about buying any more. <laughs> and let's see, so in my cart on the outside, these little cups were 99 cents at Ikea. So I have um, wipes, I've got my tacky glue, and these I use these a lot just to drip paint on cards. This is white acrylic paint mixed with water, and this is black. I've got my Mod Podge right here, so it's easy to grab, and my golden gesso. And then down here are all of my gel pens. And 97% of these came from a huge pack of gel pens that I got last fall, last fall or winter at Costco. And I think it was $29 for 100 gel pens. So that's the only reason why I have that many pens. <laughs> And you know what? They work really well. So I was really, I was really happy with that. My husband brought those home for me one day, and I was like, "Yay!" So there, those are there. Let me see if I can pull this baby out. 
here. So my cart, I've got my acrylic paint, all my craft paint on the top, pretty much by color. I've got my fluorescence here. These are glitter. Um, and my little, my pack of uh, deli paper just fits perfect right there. So that's nice because I can just reach under and pull that out. And I'll get on the side here. On the side, these are all of my sprays. Just uh, Delusions and Adirondack and I've got Tumble Dyes. And I went ahead and kept them in this. They were already in this in the drawer unit. A lot of these, these little fireworks ones are so small. And so are the Tattered Angels that I decided just to keep them in here just to keep things standing up nicely. And I've got an extra jar for water. And down here I've got my Stampin' Up! pastels, my gelatos, my neat color twos, and this has oil pastels and my portfolios. And then I've got my ink tints box down there. So all of these are on their own little um, little containers. A lot of these I got at the hardware store. And once again, everything's sorted by color because it makes me happy when things are sorted by color. So that's this unit. Oh, goodness gracious. And then over here is my drawer. And I'm a lefty, so when I sit, when I'm working, you know, I, I've got to have everything to my left. So these are actually the containers from um, a shelving unit that I got from the hard, hardware store. And I used to use the unit when we were at the other house. And um, I don't use that anymore, but these little, uh, little shelf Oh goodness, these little cubbies are perfect and they fit perfect in my drawer and are perfect for organizing things. And I think you can actually buy these separately at, you know, at the hardware store, Harbor Freight, um, places like that. So I'm going to take a drink really quick because I am super thirsty. All right. Thirsty. Okay. Um, so this one right here has my um, Dr. P.H. Martin's concentrated watercolors. This one doesn't fit there because there's too many. I have some distress stains and I have some um, alcohol stains, alcohol ink. I've got my glue sticks. This is just kind of odds and ends. Um, you know, white out and wax thread and erasers. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, extra gelatos that I had. I used to have some of these in a travel kit, so I had two sets of gelatos. These are extras. I have all of my black pens and some white pens in here. Some markers and regular pens. Tape, I've got regular and double stick. And these are more, oops, sorry, more adhesives. Just the clear, you know, the goober type things. And some clays. Let's see, just some ATCs already cut, notepads, and matches for my candle, little cups for paint. Um, here are my cotton. These are baby washcloths. They're cotton. This is what I use to wipe my magazine pages with when I'm after I put them down. Um, they're super soft, and I try to keep paint off of them. Obviously, I don't do a super good job, but these are really soft and I had a lot of these from, you know, all of my kids. So they just kind of ended up being something that I had around and used. So I've got those there. And then I've got some of the Crayola twistable crayons back here. This is, well, just some of the, my black black ink pads. I need to go through here because I know a couple of these are dried out. So I've got black and just, uh, you know, Distress ink for that I go around the edges of my pages with. A color wheel. These are silks. Silk acrylic glazes. And I've got radiant pearls. Some of these, you guys, I have had, oh my heavens, just forever, forever, forever. This, this is another one of those things that I've probably had for at least 15 years. So, 
a lot of these are my radiant pearls and then I've got uh, Pearl X so I've got those there and then in the very back which is hard to get I have an exacto knife tucked back there out of the way of little children's fingers and in a safe place. I've got my rotary cutter. Let's see, I've got my ink, my ink tents, uh, watercolor pencils. Oh, it's nine o'clock, and that is about it. Oh, and I got a couple rulers just kind of tucked in right there. And then down here, this was another one of the changes. This stuff was all over here. Over here, I moved everything that was was in these drawers under here. So this is more embellishments. On the side here, I have my um, butterfly, my sheets of butterfly paper, and I found these at our local owned art store. I have also seen these at um, gift stores and uh, card shops. They're in it's a poster size sheet of butterfly images, and I'll try to find the link for that company and post it down below. Up above I've got my 12 by 12 stencils. I don't have a lot so they're just kind of there. You know, what are those? Oh, paint books. Paint books. And let's see. On the side I have watercolor pads, just some paper. So this is more embellishment type stuff in these drawers, all organized by color. I went ahead and put my washi tape in here. I used to have all my washi tape in one basket together and I decided to put those in my color drawers. So this is washi tape and then I have ribbons and glitter, little micro beads. Um, this is scraps, small pieces of ribbons and cording. These are flowers, silk flowers and um, Prima flowers. I have rolls of ribbon back here. These are little felt hearts that I've had forever. Um, then each drawer has two of these. One of them has eyelets in it and looks like a couple brads. And then the other one has buttons. And these were just little tins that I used to work at at elementary school, and one of our teachers was actually going to throw these away. And so I thought, oh, these would be perfect to organize my stuff in. And they have been really, really, really cool. So I don't know anything else about them. I don't know if they came from a school supply um, store or something like that, um, but they look great for storing, storing things in my drawers. So each drawer has, has two of those, one for eyelets and one for buttons. So then, you know, orange and yellow, same setup. I've got, you know, the colored wire and colored um, staples, glitter, just anything you could think of. If it's yellow, it's here. So, um, let's see. Then over here, let's, I've got a bunch of metallics. Stuff. And then down here, both of these are alphabet stickers. So both these drawers are full of alphabet stickers or the scrapbook paper that you can cut that had the alphabets on it. And I think that is it, guys. Woo! <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot, but it's not. You know, I mean, it is, but it isn't. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too wobbly. I know that, uh, you know, it's it's hard for me to do this and hold the camera at the same time. So, um, I, uh, I hope that you got some ideas. I hope uh, that, uh, you know, you think about maybe organizing by some of your things in color. It has helped me out a lot. I know that it's not for everybody by every means, but it sure has helped me um, just use more of my things and uh, um, just kind of, well, and I like the look of how everything looks when it's organized by color. So um, I just have a big, huge cork board here. My daughter used to have that up in her room and I knew I needed to protect my wall. So um, 
that is just actually sitting there. It's not it's not hooked into the wall. It's just kind of perched on top of the chair rail actually. So um, that is it and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can have a fantastic day and that you're able to do something creative today and that you're enjoying the, um, well, here in Nebraska, autumn's coming, the trees are starting to turn and the air is getting a little cool and, and I absolutely love it. So thanks so much for watching you guys and um, I will be chatting with you all later. Bye-bye.